So kind of kind of talk about what you're doing here, guys. Oh, okay. My bad. Um, what I'm doing with this, okay. This is the um, test case, I guess you would say, if you were doing like a lab experiment. Yeah. And I don't have it hooked up to anything. So okay. So this, this one's looking for voltage, like stray voltage on okay. the line. And you can see the needle's not moving when I'm kicking right, it. Right, because you're not connected to anything. Yeah. Right. But when I hook it to line four... Okay, you should get like what, 48 Nothing, or? because it's totally disconnected. This is just their wire. Oh, this is just the customer's wire. Okay. Right, and I'm getting voltage on there. Oh, really? And you can see it's actually swinging a little bit. I wonder if they have a KSU. So, yeah, I don't know what they have in there, but I don't think, I think it's just straight pot. So there shouldn't be voltage. I mean, if you go to a different trunk, is it the same scenario? Well, I mean, this is just going... Yeah, but I mean, just as a, as a control case, like if you want to say the first trunk, would it oh. would, would it be the same thing? Well, that no, floating voltage. We shouldn't have any voltage. Oh. If it's just straight pots. I mean, oh, okay. Like, I don't. This one here wasn't even connected. Yeah. And see, we don't have any. Oh, there's you don't get any needle reading there. Okay. Yeah. See. Okay. But see, there's there's remember I was telling you about how there's other ones. The further to the right it is, the more shorted it is. Mm-hmm. And you see, I, I just kicked it down and how it's climbing like that. And so it's not uh, it's not a hard short, but look, that's it's swinging. Yeah, okay, so that's what you call a swinging short. Yeah, okay. I mean, if you're looking at like a, a needle, it's it's building. Yeah. yeah. Because this is stressing it. It's stre putting stress on the line to look for shorts. Yeah. So that if that line was in good shape, it shouldn't be, shouldn't be moving like that. If this line was how it's supposed to be, it should stay Still on the zero. Still in zero. And that's actually on one of the trunks that we didn't even necessarily think there was a problem. Right. Well, I mean, it's not even connected. Oh, oh okay. It's, it's one of the ones that's not even connected. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying is it's consistent throughout these wires going in. So maybe when they were doing stucco at one point, they damaged oh, the wall. Oh, yeah. So I got it. Or they, or they put the screen over these wires and damaged yeah. them. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So this is uh, the one the trunks the were working on. This is the Yeah. And should it's be on zero down there in the you know in mm. the hundred mega ohms. Right. So, okay. So right now it's nothing that would be. But let's see. Hold on a second. Do my my control here. Wait. Let's make that a second. Oh, calibrate the. Yep. Zero. So. When you get a good a good wire that doesn't have anything on it, it should stay around. Should just around say zero. zero. Okay. And then the next test I'm looking at is for decibels on the line. Mm-hmm. Anything over 30, so between 20 and 40, there is going to be noise or static within the human range of hearing. Yeah. So right now it's not. The last time I was here, it was way up there. It was 40 okay. and climbing. Okay. But um, with this short on there like that, that's not um, a service affecting short as it stands right here. Right. But when that climbs, what happens is, and I think whenever it rains or some moisture, somehow it's getting into these lines to where that, that slowly builds and builds and builds until it gets down under 10 ohms. Uh -huh. And then at that point, whenever a customer tries to call in that extra voltage, We'll short the line. Okay, got it. Let's see that right there, and see what I can do is what I'm going to do here is with that extra voltage that we're seeing right there is I'm going to pull, start pulling these other ones, and when that goes away, it it'll, it should show us which one this line is crossed with. There we go. See that? Oh, see so it? even though you're on the third pair. Yeah, it's, it's crossed with the first pair. So oh. blue and the orange are crossed with each other. Watch, oh. it's going to come back. Oh. See, that's, and that's what's going on is, ooh, that's what's going on is there's cross voltage. So I would say in this, in this situation, what you're looking for mm -hmm. is a jack, uh, a two line jack. Mm hmm where either the pins have been damaged, there's corrosion across all four of right, them. Right, right. the corrosion is metallic and it's gonna cause them to conduct to each other. Right. So voltage from 3507 is going on to 3505, 3505 yeah. and vice versa. They're okay. killing each other because you can't have that much voltage on a line. Um, 
Wow. What okay. Else is, oh, or you're looking for a defective two-line phone. Right. But Which that actually might be the case. They probably are. They probably don't have a KSU. They might be on a two-line. Right. A two-line phone. So but if that were the case, I think we would see more voltage mm. than what I'm seeing here. I think we'd see more voltage than that. I think the next step over. is for me to get inside and find out where the next extension of the D mark is, and disconnect. You know, but I think what you're doing is you're proving out the D mark right, right. now. Right. Yeah, that's yeah. what we're doing right now. And then this is um, 8729, and that's on the white. Green. White blue. It's on the white blue of a separate IW. Oh, a separate white. Oh, okay. All right. So let's see what this one here is doing. <coughs> no voltage. This one. So that one's clean. Thing. This one's clean. I don't even know that this is going anywhere, Steve. They but, might not even be used. Let me right. see if this one even has dial tone on it. It may just be a left end. No, that doesn't have... No dial tone? Hey, oh, no, no, no. My meter was on. I'm sorry. It's got to be off. The, oh, because it shorts out the line? Ah. It just won't give you dial tone while the meter's on. So it's got dial tone. That's the right number, 8729. But the IW is so short that I can't see it going anywhere. Yeah. I mean, that's going like maybe 100 feet. Oh, come on, not even that far. Yeah, I, I think maybe 